And I mean, rightfully so. Complaining about what's going on with society right now. People are losing their minds, man. Okay? So what does that tell you about this current day world that we have to deal with every day? It's coming, it's coming apart. The bricks of the system is, is, is crumbling apart. Little one little is decaying now. We're transitioning to another world. And we're not talking about the world of the world economic form. What they're saying. We're talking about the world that Yahweh Shai is, is zealous to establish. We're talking about the kingdom of the saints. That's what's coming next. That's why this world is coming to an end. And it's very clear now. It's, it's, it's clearer now than it's ever been. <laughs> When I came into the truth, you know, 2023, <laughs> in comparison to 2000, uh, what is it, 10, right? 2009 or 10, man, <laughs> back in 2009, I mean, the economy was in a better state. We just came from the, uh, we just came out of the, uh, the crash of 08. Things were still relatively good, you know, the economy kind of recovered a little bit, right? Things are in a very dire situation. You know? What happened in 2008 and in comparison to right now? Come on, man. It's like a theme park, bro. It's like walking through a park. You know, yeah, people were going through their, you know, their issues at the time, but it's not as bad as it is right now. And then you got this inflation kicking everybody's ass, too. So, just overall he's saying that we're in the end of the system and there isn't going to be no fourth revival you know you had the greeks you had the romans and, and then the Ro and then the roman empire came back again beginning with the uh those of the, that were uh bringing in about the uh the renaissance period which the word renaissance just means rebirth which is a french word right so these knuckleheads within these uh, councils, they think they can basically reset the world again. It's going to be the fourth industrial revolution. Listen, that ain't going to be no fourth industrial revolution. What it's going to be is the new world that Yahweh Shah is establishing. And that's going to be established with the saints. This is what we come in. Not we, but the Heavenly Father and His hopes. That's what they're establishing on this earth. So as time progresses, this world is the king. Now, when I mean the world, I'm not talking about the planet Earth. The planet Earth is always going to be around. But I'm talking about this empire, which is the revival version of Rome. And it's the king. And that is the truth. So. That's what we stand on, right? Should we should we care about what people think when we speak the truth? No, we should stand on the truth because we are men of integrity. So the truth be told is that this world is going to crumble apart. It's going to it's going to go to the shitter. It's going to be uh, all kinds of various, uh, you know, wars between the people, whether it's race wars, whether it's civil wars, whether it's class wars, whether it's people rising up against their government whatever it's going to be is going to be because it's written so it is a truth and there is no lie of the truth so if we have a purpose which the saints and the prophets do have is to what prophesy of events which is bound to come to pass which is ordained to come to pass ordained of who the father in heaven Okay? And in that, guess what? We will be delivered in the days of trouble, which is a reality. Now, we may not see that reality, but it doesn't necessarily mean it doesn't exist because we can't see it. Okay? So, whenever you're going through your various difficulties in this world, take it cheerfully because the Lord is building you up on it and He's showing you that He can deliver you from the same. Back on the topic now. So now let's go back and get the book of Psalms. 
Hold on, wait a minute. Let me adjust this uh this uh this selfie stick here. Excuse me. Yeah, so that's hard. Okay. Yeah, so it should be fine now. Gotta use my other hand. I have to take my jacket off, man. It's starting to get real hot again. Right, so let's go back to Psalms 9. Come on, man. Let's not do this. Yeah, Psalms 9. Let's go back to verse 7 again. Just bear me, Akio. Yeah, so we back at it again. So this is Psalms. This is the book of Psalms 9 and verse 7 again. But the Lord shall endure forever, and he hath prepared his throne for judgment, and he shall judge the world in righteousness, which we already got that established, that the world is the uh the Israelites in this case, which would be judged in righteousness and he shall minister judgment to the people in uprightness the Lord Yahweh will also be a refuge for the oppressed and who are the oppressed today the Israelites now you got different people around the world that's, that's suffering in their form of oppression but we've basically been experiencing that for the longest so when you, when you really look at what's really been going on since this system has been established the Israelites have been oppressed the so-called Negroes Latinos and Native American Indians from prospering in the system which is a part of the curses so we will be delivered from that so it reads a refuge in a time of trouble and they that know thy name let's read it again and they that know thy name will put their trust in thee. So if you know the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, those names, you're supposed to put trust in the Lord. You have to. You can't trust in yourself all the way. You gotta put trust in the most high and his only begotten son. As the prophecy is. So if you know the name and you don't put trust in him, then you're not playing a part of this prophecy. That means you're not a man of the Lord. Okay. So if you have the name You're going to play this part over here It says let me, let me do it this way It says And they that know thy name will put Their trust in thee For thou O Lord Yahweh Has not forsaken them that seek thee See And that's why we haven't been forsaken by him now, We've been forsaken of the world that's okay, because the, the world is what? Temporal. And people are nothing more than, as well as we all are, made out of dust and water. So, if the world forsaken, then I mean, I mean, you know, it really depends on where you're coming from in the world and all of that stuff. But, again, when you get into this truth for a long period of time, you find out that the world is basically nothing, man. The world is just as you see it to be. Nothing. It looks like something. And I just want to reiterate what I was saying before in a different way, in a better way. You know, it really depends on where you came from 
you know, how you were set up in the world and all of that stuff. And it may have an effect on you when the world forsakes you. But like I said, getting back to the point is that the more you start to learn this truth, is the more you will find out that this world, there is no substance to it. It's always been nothing. And as the days progress, this world is showing that there's nothing to it. Okay? So, it's all in Yahweh Bashmi Al Shah. He is the way. Yahweh Shah is the way, the truth, and what? The life. That's in the book of John 14. So, there's no life in this world that you can get. Life and death coming from the Lord. So, let's do the deeds of righteousness, following the commandments of the Lord, taking heed to his men. And, and uh, following that path which will lead to life. Okay? And few there be will find it. That's in uh, Matthew 7. The elect are going to find that path. And it's going to be a narrow path. Also known as the straight gate, which is reminiscent of 2nd uh, Ezra, the 7th chapter, where it mentions on how you have this narrow passage. And you have the great waters on one side and the great fires on the other side. All right? And that passage is so thin that it takes only one person to walk there through. So that's symbolic of saying even this. That uh, let every soul seek out his own salvation with fair trouble. So yeah, okay, we are, pro we are part of a brotherhood. But guess what? You are doing the you are doing the Lord's work for the sake of your own. Because you can't rely on another man to save you. This is about you and, and your personal uh, communication or your connection with your maker. So when you're doing these, when you're doing these videos, sit, you know whatever it is, sit downs, walking talks, out in the street. You doing the work to show the Father that you want to be safe, okay? But if you the type of guy, man, where it's like you've been in this thing long enough and somebody got to tell you to do these things, then you might not very well be of the elect, you know? And that's a scary thing. The thought of that is very scary. Like the Apostle Taha said in uh, the video that he did concerning the, uh, the um, what is it, the palm hand reader when he was at Whole Foods, which I did a video about that some time ago. Because all of these stores, what they're doing is, is they're setting up these biometrical scans, certain stores anyway, using the, the, um, the Amazon palm hand reader, which is what, leading to what? The MOTB prophecy, man. That's speaking very loud and clear today. And many still want to deny it. And I understand why they want to deny it because they took the bag. They've been compromised, man. So even though it's very obvious that even these, um, <laughs> as uh, the apostles would say, though, these wacky tacky Christians, if, if the wacky tacky Christians can see it, then shit, what's going on with y'all, man? Oh, I get it. Y'all have been compromised. And that's just the thing, man. So, it's clear what's going on out here. So, going back to what I was saying about what Apostle Hall said. If you ain't doing what you're supposed to be doing and, show, and making your calling, your election sure, and being diligent in these things, then you may got to check yourself, man, because you may not be a part of the elect. If you ain't did the video in some months... And they gotta take you. They gotta. They gotta take you to do a video. They gotta. Excuse me. Let me reiterate what I'm saying. It's gonna. It's gonna have to take you to, uh, you know, get a foot up your ass to do these videos. It should. It shouldn't have to take you to get a foot up your ass to do these videos. You should be fully persuaded, like the Apostle Paul. Uh, what is it? Uh, Jeremiah. All of the prophets of the Lord. They were fully persuaded. No one had to tell them to go teach the word. They taught the word because the fire was in them. They already had the heat of them. They had two things going on inside of these people. They had the fear of the Lord 
and they had the spirit inside of them, which propelled them to teach the word. So if you ain't doing what you're supposed to be doing, then maybe you ain't got the fire in you no more. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like in the book of Ezekiel, it mentions about the breath, which is the spirit of life, which is in our parallel, I believe, which is which is parallel to our Revelation 11 chapter. Let's go over here now.